Hello students, now today in this lecture we are going to uh, discuss about taxonomical characteristics or categories. Now, if I talk about classifying the organism or to study the classification, there are so many style of different representation within them. Today we are going to see about the most commonly used mechanism of the classification which includes different ranks to arrange the organisms and their types or subtypes into a particular manner. Now, why this is rank or category and how they are going to be arranged within these ranks or categories that is what we are about to see now. So, if I talk about first taxonomical categories it is involving a particular type of hierarchy that is the arrangement which is linear the top one includes two or more sub branches one of the sub branches also includes few more sub branches likewise from top to the bottom or from bottom to the top we can see different types of organisms which are definitely arranged accordingly to their uh, structural similarities or dissimilarities or differences. So, it is the step in which each step is representing a particular taxonomical category or ranks. If you see into the side diagram the total number of these categories are 7. If I talk about the most uh, uh, number of organisms and least number of organisms, if I I divide them accordingly, so least number of the correct uh, sorry uh, of the organism are found in species. So I give uh, first number to the species. More than species, number of organisms are found in genus so it is second number more than genus number of organisms are found in family so third number is family four five six and the top one seven number is kingdom kingdom is the largest rank which include so many phylum right it includes so many phylums any one of the phylum may have so many class, any of the class may have so many orders, any of the order may have so many families, any of the families have so many genus and any of the genus having so many species in them. So, that way the entire arrangement of the classifying organism is made. So, the smaller most and the most last categories of all is species and topmost categories is uh, known as kingdom. So, let us see one by one all of those <coughs> all the categories together constituent the entire mechanism of classification known as the hierarchy of classification or taxonomical hierarchy. Each category represent a unit single unit of classification. So, this is one unit, this is second, this is third. So, they all are units of the classification. Now, a group of organism which occupies a particular category that category 
is taxon so taxon or taxa plural is a particular group of organism which are having a particular type uh maybe similar maybe dissimilar characters so they are grouped in a particular uh particular uh, we can say different set of uh categories so based on similarity they are placed into a particular group or taxon based on dissimilarity they are actually forwarded to the next or the other group or other taxon so taxons are so many any single or small group also is one of the taxon or largest group of the classification also to be termed as the taxon so if i if uh, i would like to classify uh, the mammals for example the example which is given here the mammals it is also it is a class actually mammal it is also a single taxon and within that class uh, class mammal if i say humans so humans are also one of the taxon and if i talk about kingdom for example animal animalia that also is one of the taxon so taxon is having a vast meaning in its own it is a group in which a, a particular set of organisms are grouped together placed together and that is why it is said to be taxon right so this, you have so many taxa and each of them is a particular taxon so that way you are supposed to remember ready so let us see all the te taxonomical categories and their arrangement one by one in this class please take the screenshot so that you can make your own notes if you see in the uh, in the diagram you have taxonomic character right categories and their examples here examples are given so if i uh, define species right for example sapiens and if i define the genus one of the example which is given is homo so this is the example of homo sapiens which is humans so this is classification of, of human which is given here now the family of human is homidi order what we have is primata the class of human is mammalia the phylum of human is chordata and our kingdom is animalia that is animal now here if you see into the second category they have two sub categories either phylum or division while classifying animals we are supposed to use word phylum but when we are classifying the plants kingdom plant then they are not having phylum but they have the division so that's where the difference lies and you are supposed to get it into your mind fine so that's the difference between uh phylum and division so this is one of the example of classification of human which has been explained here please take the screenshot of this slide now first categories which is termed as species so let us discuss the first category species now what is species it already has been discussed earlier into the lecture of speciation so it is group of closely related organisms 
which are capable of interbreeding to produce the fertile offspring so that next uh, generation of offspring also can be so produce fertile offspring is one of the necessary part of the definition it is the lowest category as we have seen the branch and entire hierarchy it was the last so it is the lowest category what we can see into the entire hierarchy of the taxonomy so species is the last or lowest category now uh, here few examples are given for example if i talk about mango its generic name that is its <coughs> uh, uh, if you remember there are two parts of scientific name it is composed of two names first is generic name that is genus name in the other word and second is species name or specific epiphyte so this is scientific name of mango so mangifera is generic name indica is specific epiphyte or name of the species so we are concerning right now about this species potato solanum tuberosum nightshade a part of uh, uh, sorry uh, name of the plant solanum nigrum tomato solanum lyco persiscum brinjal solanum melongena lion panthera leo tiger panthera tigris leopard panthera pardus and modern human homo sapiens so basically uh, uh, once more i would like to remind you that what's your names which are coming or encountered within your textbook all names must be remembered by you with reference to your neat examination all scientific names must be into your brain so that if any of the question or mcq is asked from this scientific name within that scientific name which one is generic and which one is specific epithet you also should be aware of that so please do remember that while you are reading this or understanding these topics right so please take the screenshot <clears throat> now few important uh, related terminology uh, the term species given by uh, a scientist called john ray uh, the book in which he has mentioned it is historia generalis plantarum now species is a real do remember real basic unit of classification why it is real because if we think from genus to the uh, topmost phylum they all are unreal only living creatures truly found in species these are the real one but baki sab jo hai that all are imaginary and unreal right so that is why it is uh, always said that species is the only one real basic unit of the classification it was given in the textbook of 2003 right and it was actually asked even so many times into the examinations species are definitely smallest taxon why because they consist only fewer number of the species per species and one genus includes so many species so each of the, those species are including a particular number so number is uh, folded by n number ready and that's why the genus is more bigger taxon than the species so that way it multiplies as you go on the top of the hierarchy so species is the smallest one out of all the taxonomical uh, hierarchy please take the screenshot
now second category and that category is termed as genus second genus it is aggregate of closely related species so one genus may have one two three or more than three genuses the examples which are given in the textbook are for example genus solanum it includes number one potato that is solanum tuberosum also includes second uh, first one is sorry potato second tomato that is solanum s stands for solanum here solanum lyco persicum and third one is solanum melangina so this three are the example of the species of solanum genus right so name of the genus is solanum tuberosum lycopersicum and melongina these three are its species similarly panthera is one of the genus of animal solanum was the genus of plant panthera includes number 1 genus leo oh sorry species leo so panthera leo called lion second pardus that is panthera pardus called as leopard commonly called as leopard and third tigris so leo pardus and tigris these are the three species it can include so panthera tigris is tiger and similarly third one example which is given here is felis genus felis includes number 1 felis domesticus that is house cat that is first one and second one is jungle cat that is felis chaus so that way genus includes more than one generally more than one species into them so categories which is consisted or which is formed by species is known as genus that's what you are supposed to remember so please take the screenshot of this slide now characteristic feature of the category of genus it is having two types one is monotypic genus second one is polytypic genus now if a genus is having single species in them it is called monotypic genus for example homo so your genus homo is having only one species known as sapiens so humans are homo sapiens right the other branch for example homo erectus was our ancient human it is right now not found on to the earth right they are extinct species so only one left right now in homo that is sapiens that is more than human so only one uh, species containing genus is called monotypic genus and is if genus is con consisting more than one species then it is called polytypic for example solanum panthera etc whatsoever example which is given here into the example are all polytypic genus right so please take the screenshot now the family third number <coughs> so uh, category number 3 is family uh, it is group of related 
genera or genus here you can write down genus so group of genus is termed as family for example first example which is given solanaceae family which is uh, which belongs to plant family so genus solanum number 1 genus petunia and genus datura these are the three genus of family solanaceae similarly of if i talk about phalaedae which is family of animal it has number 1 genus panthera and number second genus is phalis so that way group of various genus makes the family right so family is group of genus that's how we are supposed to remember this please take the screenshot of this slide next category is order that is category number 5 order is what it is group of related families right it is group of related families so family various families assemblage the taxonomical upper level of the category known as order for example uh, the uh, the best example of uh, plant and animal which is given into your textbook is for example order polymonials there are two families of it number 1 is convolulaceae and number 2 solanaceae so there are two families of polymonials i repeat convolulaceae and solanaceae whereas into animals order carnivora have two families <coughs> phalaedae and canidae so that is how group of family makes the upper category called order so order include related or closely related group of families please take the screenshot now if i talk about next category which is a class it is group of related orders right it is group of related order for example class dicotyledonous right dicotyledon it includes two order number 1 polymonials number 2 sependelis whereas in two animals class mammal include number 1 order primate number 2 order carnivora now primate includes humans and apes and carnivora includes old wild animals which are carnivorous right so there are two uh, uh, class uh, so sorry two order of the class mammalia which is found here and there are two orders of class dicotyledonous or uh, sorry within the plant so different orders or group of orders which are closely related they form a larger category known as class so please take the screenshot now comes the phylum or division phylum is found in the animals and division can be found in 
planks that is what you are supposed to remember. So, assemblage of closely related classes. So, group of class is phylum, right? Group of class related classes are termed as the termed as phylum. In the cases of closely related classes, forms division. So, phylum is in animal, division in plant. So, division angiosperm for example in plant have two class class number 1 dicotyledon and class number 2 monocotyledon so two classes are found in angiosperm division right angiosperm is name of the division and dicotyledon and monocotyledon these two are class Similarly, chordata, phylum chordata which is in animals, they have four different classes from amphibia, reptilia, aves to mammals. These four class are found in phylum chordata. So, chordata is belonging to plant, sorry animals and angiosperm belonging to uh, division that is plant. So, that is how closely related group of classes makes either division in plant or phylum in core data. Please take this in short. Now, the last and seventh category which is kingdom. The phyla or division grouped as kingdom. So, group of phylum or division is kingdom. It is the highest category and largest number of species are found, largest number of individuals are found in them. For example, if I talk about kingdom plant, it has two division mainly angiosperm and gymnosperm. Whereas, kingdom of animal includes chordate and arthropod. There are so many phylum, but two examples are given here with reference to animals. So, taxonomical characters are designed such a way that it is suiting them to make accordingly sorry make the group accordingly to, to their basic characteristic uh, characteristic features and we uh, those characteristic features or those categories makes us enable that we can easily group them into the particular manner so that it it, it uh, we can find ease to study them to learn them or to understand them so, taxonomical categories are the aid, taxonomical aid which is found uh, uh, sorry which is used by various uh, countries in order to classify the organism so that we can easily study the classification ready. So, that is what the importance of the taxonomical categories. We are also going to see various example of uh, uh, the examples of various categories and how they are going to be arranged. Uh, please take the screenshot first and then we are moving ahead. So, here is the example of how taxonomical character, uh, sorry, categories are important for us to understand. For example, if I am talking about tiger, right. So, tiger is belonging as a species tigris and it is into the genus panthera as we have learned earlier, but in genus panthera only tiger is not uh, the taxa which is included, it is having more than uh, two species 
right so other species are also part of genus panthera maybe the lion ready now if i talk about the family of tiger it is felidae which is not including just tiger or lion but also the other species for example a cat if talk about order that is carnivora it is also including tiger lion cat or dog if i going more ahead into the class which is mammalia it is also include human so accordingly if you see the characteristic feature if you are going towards the top of the taxonomical character is uh, sorry category then number of organism they are always increasing this is one of the most important feature of taxonomical categories and reversely if you are going down the number of organism is decreasing ready now if i talk about variation right that is similarity into the characteristic feature if you go from lowest to the top most variation also increased right it is increasing ready if you see here huge number of variety you can see and here least number of variety only one single variety is there so variation also increasing but if i talk about the similarities right variation is what it is differences but similarities is decreasing if i go from bottom to top it is decreasing so similarities are decreasing when i am going from a uh, species to the kingdom only variation or differences are increasing these three important feature with reference to taxonomical character you are supposed to definitely remember fine so please keep in uh, your mind that these three characteristic fe- previous examination various questions have been asked from these uh, examples right so please take the screenshot of this slide now let me move to the last slide before i erase it in the last slide we are going to see few examples how we classify the organism into very short details so these are four example which are given into the textbook as well number one example which is given right it is a uh, broad peat oh sorry human example of human man common name biological name is homo sapiens genus homo family homidi order primata class mammalia and division chordata right so this way this is the very common most mechanism of classification for example house fly musca domestica is the biological name house fly is common name now musca is the genus muscidi is the family diptera is order insecta is the class and arthropoda is phylum now if i am talking about the mango which is common name but the biological name is mangifera indica and the genus is mangifera family 
एने कार्डिया सी एना कार्डिया सी ऑर्डर इज सपिंडल्स डायकोटिलीडोन इज दी क्लास एंड एंजियोस्पम इज डिविशन हियर आई यूज वर्ड डिविशन इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइलम वीट कॉमन नेम बट द साइंटिफिक नेम और बायोलॉजिकल नेम इज ट्रिटिकम एस्टिवम वे ट्रिटिकम इज अ जीनस पोएसी इज द फैमिली पोएलिस इज ऑर्डर मोनोकोटेलीडोन इज द क्लास एंड एंजियोस्पम इज द डिविशन सो दिस फोर एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो यू आर सपोज टू रिमेंबर विथ रेफरेंस टू योर नीट एग्जामिनेशन रेडी सो हियर बाय आई एम एंडिंग द सेशन एंड वी आर मीटिंग अहेड विद द नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ द टेक्सोनोमिकल एड्स राइट सो हियर वी आर एंडिंग विद द टेक्सोनोमिकल कैटेगरीज एंड इन टू नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी टेक्सोनोमिकल एड वेर the tools which are required for understanding or to study taxonomical categories so i'll see you then take care and have a nice time